Hello everyone, I'm out of focus, there we go, welcome back to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video, I know this intro is a little bit vlog style but I'm in such a massive rush. Welcome back, um, if you've been on this channel before, if not then hello, uh, my name's Lou, uh, I'm a crazy cat lady and I love filming doing my makeup so that's what I've done for you today I've done this look which is a super 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 quick and when I say quick I literally finish work like an hour ago and I'm ready hair everything shower wash done outfit um this is a super super quick glam look I am off to a wedding right now um, and I just wanted to film my makeup so that's what I've done for you guys um, as we can see we've got lashes we've got a highlighter we have got contour nude lip it's all there it's all super easy um, I've done my hair although I sort of dropped out because it's wet but that had a few curls in it but yeah um, if you want to see how to create this look carry on watching I'm so hot I'm actually sweating okay so we're gonna start with the body shop vitamin C skin reviver this is my favorite favorite primer I love it so much and it smells like oranges so it's perfect for the summer I'll just put this all over and it's like a glowy primer so if you're wearing a fat, uh, a fat foundation, if you're wearing a matte foundation, it's perfect just to give that glow underneath. And it's moisturising and it's vegan, so perfect. Just going to spritz the face, again with another Body Shop product, this is the Mandarin Energising Face Spray. I'm so hot, I just need, oh, I just need like cooling down, I'm so hot, I've literally been running around at work all day. Okay, don't forget to take your primer down your neck. For uh, foundation, foundation I'm going to be taking the PS My Perfect Colour Double Coverage Matte Foundation. This is by Primark. I've got the colour Cool Sand. This is honestly the best foundation I have tried in such a long time and it's £5. It is incredible. All I can recommend to you guys is go out and buy it. I apply it with a, with a beauty blender a dry one and then I'll go over with a damp one after honestly today I wore this I was running around at work like running around I'm not joking we were absolutely full um I'm a waitress and I work on a bar we were so busy but this foundation did not budge all day it was amazing I'm just looking in the mirror so I hope you guys can see it was amazing it did not budge all day it is matte but it's not um so matte that it dries your skin out it's still got it still gives your skin a lot of texture and i just really like it for five pound you literally can't go wrong this is the only foundation i've been wearing for the last probably like two or three weeks i absolutely love it the lighting is so bad you have to apologize i am as i said going to a wedding and this is going to be quick glam because i need to be quick because i've literally finished work um, and the wedding starts in like half an hour so I need to be quick um, I'm gonna take another layer of that foundation only because I want coverage like we are going for glam coverage today so hungry I've not eaten because I've been at work but I have got a salted caramel brownie in my bag I cannot wait to eat in a minute I'm such a fatty okay right so just really quickly i'm literally like supersonic Rah, hurry up because um you know I do not want to be late so i just apply that now i just oh, i just love it i just love this coverage so much it blends so easy they do loads of shades it is five pound like seriously you will not find a better foundation for five pound i love it i can't recommend it enough i can't believe not many people have like recommended it on YouTube, but I haven't even seen it on there at all. Okay, so that's the foundation blended in. If you can hear my uh, washing machine going off, I do apologise. I'm not very good at this YouTube lark, to be honest. Let's, let's add some collection. Last Infection Concealer. Everyone uses this. It's the best one. Um, I've got mine in number one. 
Um, and I'm just putting loads on because I want that glam. We're going for a glam look. Okay. And then I just dab it. Again with the same sponge down the nose, on the chin. I'm just sort of highlighting areas before I go in and put a highlighter on later on. Okay. Literally had so many rude people at work. I just, I don't get it how rude some people can be. I just don't get, I just don't understand it. Like the other day, I had someone swear at me and comment on how thin my legs were, which state the obvious, we can all say that my legs, well you can't see right now, but everyone when you meet me can see that my legs are really thin, but I don't understand why people have to like state it and be really rude about it, I just don't get it. Um, and it upsets me, I'm going to take the collection Last Perfection Concealer in number 6 and I'm going to hide, I'm going to cream contour. Um, it just upsets me, like I just think it's so rude, like how people go up to other people and comment on the way they look, like I've got to be really really honest, I get it all the time, like literally all the time and I just, I would honestly never do that to someone and I just don't understand, like literally he was like, oh that girl's got super thin legs, I felt like saying mate you've got a super big fat gob, like who the hell are you, I just don't get people like that. Um, and I know it was like really off the flute comment and like I probably shouldn't let it get to me but my god I have not stopped thought, thinking about that comment all week honestly I just oh just hate people just hate it when you work in the hospitality industry and you do get people like that like seriously so rude it's horrible I don't know why people have to be like that right cream contour we are going so quick I did say this was going to be quick glam Make sure you blend it down the neck. Right, cream contour done. Let's do. Let's do eyes. Okay, we're going to take the saffron bark and get ready with me palette. This is all I've been using the last few weeks. Um, this look that I'm doing, I have been wearing it so much. Um, it's one of those looks that just makes me feel so confident. I love it. Um, it's super glam but super easy so we're going to take this shade here it's like bronzy shade if you don't have this palette this looks really easy to recreate because you're just using brown shadows basically so like one dark shadow and one sort of terracotta color so as you can see super messy um i'm no makeup artist you guys are going to see that throughout this video and then let's just blend it with a brush i like taking my eyeshadow quite high up um personally because I have super small eyes so that's why I personally do it but it's completely up to you if you don't want to take it as high you see don't but yeah it's all about the blending as well so just blend the shadow back and forward I have not put any primer on my lids and I've not set them either so that the eyeshadow is um, quite pigmented just blend, 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 and blend. I'm in a rush, sorry guys. I know this is awful, 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 awful. I do still want to put it up, but I hope you guys won't judge me. Um, I mean, I guess this is super fun. So I'm just taking it on a big fluffy brush. I'm just taking a bit more of the shade just to intensify that color a tiny bit more. I've been doing this look so often, last like probably three weeks that I've, it's so quick to do just taking a bit more of the shade just to intensify that color a tiny bit more i've been doing this look so often the last like probably three weeks that I've, it's so quick to do for me now oh my god i need a drink i'm so warm i'm so warm okay right then we're gonna take a darker color so we're going to take this one here, this dark brown. I'm going to take it on a little flat brush, I'm going to tap off the excess, and then go in again and tap off the excess. So I'm building up the colour on the brush, and I'm just going to put it on the outer corner, like that. There is like a wasp or a bee or something in my room. Brilliant timing, thanks, mate. Thanks so much. 
Oh my god, I know this sounds really stupid, but now I've brought up the fact that, like I said about my loan. about it I'm gonna do a video on it actually because um, just some people just some people in life I just don't get like would you go up to a say, disabled person and say well you're disabled you would do would you or would you go up to a person that maybe is a bit bigger and say oh you've got big legs no you wouldn't I mean I don't know maybe some people do do that do they I don't know, like, I'm just going to take a big brush and just blend the top out. All I'll say is that um, this is not the first time that I've had people comment on my legs. And I just, you know when you get to the point where you're just like, actually, please, just just leave. Um, just going to take a little bit of black eyeshadow. This is how easy this look is to recreate. I, um... Yeah, I just feel like saying to some people sometimes, you know, do you realise actually how much that upsets some people? And I know I'm not the only one that it happens to, obviously. Um, but yeah, some people just don't realise how much your words can affect them. Like, they just don't get it. Um, which is quite sad, really. Um, always tap off the excess. Um, yeah, I, f I find it quite sad because you just must be quite close-minded and don't get me wrong I'm going really in depth now and I, I wanted to do a video on it but I'd love to have size 10 legs or whatever size legs um, and not be as small as I am like don't get me wrong I would, I would honestly change it tomorrow but you can't change it and I think people should just accept people for who they are and not make judgment and not comment because it's just so not needed um, let's take some shimmer. So I'm going to take this colour on my finger, pack it over the lid, just because it's a bit of a glam look. I want some shimmer in there. Such a nice shadow. It's so creamy. I um, the reason why I'm doing this look, number one, I love it. But also, I found it quite versatile because I don't actually know. We'll just go back in with the blending brush. I don't actually know what I'm going to wear to this wedding, so for me, this look will go with any colour dress or trouser suit or whatever you guys choose to wear. So let's take a little bit of concealer, just cover up the fall down a tiny bit. I'm on a roll, I'm on a roll today. And let's just dab that under there. I don't tend to do like a wing. I just tend to like sort of take my beauty blender and sort of clean up because I'm really not very good at makeup and I find doing like a, your eyeshadow in a wing really difficult so I just do it like this and I love it. I just think it's so much easier. Okay right I'm going to take a colour um, underneath the eye but actually I might powder under the eye first. So to powder I have been using the Revolution Bake and Finish. Um, this again is one of those products that I've been recommended to loads of people because tap off the excess. It's so good. Like so good. Like my makeup stays put with this powder. I think it's a combination of a good foundation and um, a good powder. This makeup look. But we're just gonna take that and just buff it under the eye like that it is a white powder but it sort of goes on translucent so you know you're not going to get any flashback you're not going to get any nasty white uh, patches on your eyes when you take pictures or anything like that and then with a big fluffy brush I just take the excess all over my face just to set the creams oh that's so much just to set the creams that we've already put on. Okay, so that's that done. So we sort of are on the way to a finished look. And it's looking all right so far, considering I'm in a rush. Okay, right, let's chisel out the face. Let's take Hula 
as my bronzer of choice today. Um, this is, oh my god, I thought it was a spider in there. It's a little bit of fluff, I thought it was a spider. This is um, one of my favourite bronzers. And because I've gone like brown on the eyes, sometimes I like a dark bronzer to compensate that. Uh, and because this is a glam look, we do want quite dark bronzer. So I just take it on my forehead, down my cheeks, and then with the excess I take along my chin, but because I've got quite a small chin, I try not to do too much. A um, little bit down my nose, either side. I don't contour my nose because I'm a rubbish person. I'm rubbish at makeup, so I don't. And just a little bit on my neck, just to join it up a little bit. Okay. For contour, what should I take for contour? I'm going to take this slanted Eco Tools brush and I'm going to take the little um, bronzer that's in the Get Ready With Me Safi B palette. Let's just chisel out those cheekbones a little bit. To be honest, because I've got quite a thin face, my cheekbones are quite good as they are, so I don't tend to. Oh, why is that come like that? Oh my god, I'm the worst makeup artist ever. I'm not even a makeup artist, what was Lou going on about? Um, I'm gonna add a glittery bronze on top because it's warm and sunny, sunny out there. This is a uh, golden bronze by the body shop. It's so warm and sunny out there. And I want to look quite bronze. Luckily, I'm gonna have my hair down so we won't be able to see that little patch to be honest, it doesn't even look that bad anymore. It's just me being over exaggerating drama queen again. Typical low. Right, let's take Rocketeur by Benefit, most gorgeous blush. And I just dab this on because I just think it looks better if you dab it, personally. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, 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 dab. Okay. Sick. I shouldn't say sick, should I? I sound like an idiot. Right, let's brush these brows. My brows aren't actually too bad today because um, I recently had them threaded. So they're my brows and then I'm just gonna brush them through. Buckaroo. I just do really normal, like natural, not normal. Natural brows, personally, just because I don't like them too bold or anything like that. Okay, right, let's go in. We are a halal. Right, I'm going to take the Revolution Liquid Highlighter. This is in Liquid Bronze Gold, the most gorgeous. Got hair there, thought it was a spider. It's quite natural, but I'm going to add a powder on top. Uh, I know the lighting's rubbish but hopefully you guys can see. So I'm going to take for my powder highlight, I'm going to take this one by uh, Topshop. This is the Chameleon Highlighter. Super pretty, it's like champagne gold. And this photographs so well, that's so well which is why I love wearing it. Um, amazing selfie so just using a little um what's this real techniques highlighter brush down the nose on there and on the chin can we see how pretty that is it's so so nice and then i'm just going to take a little bit more hula and build up that contour. I'm going to take the brush that was in the hula, just build up that contour as tiny as bit. And then I'll just blend it together and just do that, just so it's not so like blocky and patchy. Let me say, cute, cute Reno. So these are the Fleur de Force little lashes, tiny little ones, I don't want too much. Just a little bit of a lift. 
Okay, I put one on without any tweezers. You probably can't even see it. There we go. They're not very like big, but they do the job of what I want. And that's what it's all about. I don't want, I do sometimes wear really big lashes, but today we're sort of going for glam and we're going like bam, bam, bam. I do usually like a glam look, but I do want to take it natural. I'm more fluffy on the eyes. Usually I wear lashes a bit like this. These are all barrels. What number are these? 600. But we're going a little bit softer today. Soft wedding look. I'm going to this wedding, but I literally, it's my mum's friend and I can't do two things at once. I literally know no one there. So, yeah. go me. So exciting. Lashes are literally the bane of my life. Like I love doing them, but when a corner one doesn't stick, I swear to God, and when you want them to stick, oh my God, it keeps flicking off. Jesus Christ. When you want it to stick, it doesn't. You guys have seen up my nose. I hope you enjoy that little view of my massive nozzle. When you want it to stick but it doesn't, it's the most annoying thing. I don't know why you're going to be watching a this tutorial when you can watch so many better YouTubers. Right, let's finish this look. Come on, let's get your shit together. I'm going to take an under eye colour and I'm going to take a long brush, no, I'm going to take this colour there, okay? It's got some fall down but that one there. So it's sort of like dark but not out of corner dark. So I'll run that underneath. This look is going to be quite like sultry, mysterious, and sexy. No, it's not. No, it's not. Don't listen to a word I say. No, you can't be sexy. I'm like, I said to my boyfriend the other day. I'm literally that girl that's like an elephant, like I'm tiny, but I can't ever be sexy, ever. And I'm going to take a bit of that darker colour, uh, which one is it, that one there, just to darken it up a tiny bit. Okay, cute. So let's take the rest of highlight. So I'm going to take the Imagination Ultra, that was really shoving it in your face, sorry, but you guys need to know about this. This stuff is good. This is the Imagination Lottie London Ultra Glow. This is a loose highlighter. And my God, it is incredible. So I'm gonna tap it on the inside of that eye. Let's brighten that eye a little bit. Right now. And then we're gonna put it under the brow bone. Cute. And there, can we see that? How cute is that? Oh my God, it's glowing. It's like a champagne colour. Um, I just like using two highlighters, but either one is really nice. Um, and then I'll just take the excess over the top of my brows. Cute. Love it. Love the imagination range with Lottie London. It's one of my favourites. Right, we're going to spray the face with the Body Shop. Oh my god, what is that? My patient, that was a hen, I thought it was a spider. We're gonna spray the face with the Body Shop Mint Mattifying Face Setter. Let's spray this face. Hopefully stop me getting oily. I'm gonna be so stressed literally going to this wedding because, um, let's fan myself down. I'm driving. Um, it's me and my mum going, so I'm driving to let my mum have a drink. Let us sit down a little bit. But um, I've got to go on a bypass and I don't drive on bypasses, so um, let's bring you down. Little bit, little bit scared. Wish me luck. Okay, right, let's do mascara. Uh, I always use Bad Gal Bang. I've got brushes all over the place because uh, it's my favourite, so. This honestly, this mascara makes your lashes go from zero to 100. Like, I am not kidding you. 
Now I'll put a little bit on the top, but I don't need to put that much because obviously I've got lashes. Cute! I love it. Right, let's go with lips. I can't believe I've been done like so quick. This has taken not as much time as I thought. Let's put some of these brushes away. Let's open the lip drawer, the licky lip drawer. Let's get my lip thing out. Okay, right, we're gonna do a nude lip because I've got quite dark eyes. I'm done with me anyway. So let's take the Revolution lip liner in Noble. Let's, and then I'm going to take the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is Oon 04 London. I'm just going to take that over the top. This is running out, I think. I don't know if there's even, is there actually even anything in here? Okay, matty, matty, matte, matte, matte lip. Then we're going to take the Kiko lip gloss in 19 and just going to put it in the middle so that the outside of the lips is matte. But the inside, no, the outside is matte, but the inside is glossy. Okay, right. Now let's. I'm just gonna wipe my finger under there a tiny bit. It's a tiny, tiny bit too dark. I'm just gonna take some eyeliner. This is my favourite eyeliner. It's the Exaggerate Waterproof Eyeliner by Rimmel. It's like a soft crayon. And I'm just gonna take it on my upper lash line and my lower lash line, like that. Just darkens the eye up a tiny bit. I'm not really one for, um, got to stick the lash on, the lashes come off. I'm not really one for eyeliner because I'm not very good at it, so I try not to do it too much. Um, but let's just stick this lash on, vein of my life, lashes, do my head in. A little fly in here, Freddie Guy. He's come to say hello to everyone. Do I look like Mildred Hubble? Probably no one will know who that is. <laughs> Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I love you guys so much. Um, it means the world to me. I just love filming. Um, if you've got any requests, let me know. Pop them in the down bar below, and please make sure you subscribe and like. Um, because it means a lot to me. I love it so much. Thank you so much. I love you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.